Today we're going to look at this handy industrial key set. It's the Twin Key from Nipex. Twinkie as in the delicious sweet treat. They're not delicious. I love a Twin Key. Well, we're going to look at this today. It's the Twin Key from Nipex, and we love products on the channel that save electricians' time. And we're going to see today if this set of keys can do just that. Yeah, it's, quite, it's got a nice feel to it. It's a bit like something you might see in a in a Bruce Lee film or perhaps a Bond film that's sort of thrown across a room, but it's not really used for that, Gary. Let's have a look at what it's really used for. So here we are in one of the most familiar places for electricians outside at the meter cabinet. And we can... A bit of meter reading. Yeah, here we go. So there you go. A must have key, I would suggest. Oh, the one for the loft hatch. Yeah. Access panel, Gary. Obviously, you... different sized stepped squares. I've used a SDS drill bit end many a time to get up there. So that's that one. Oh, Sparky Luden's trapped. Will he be able to escape with the right key, possibly? If you want a triangle key, two sizes. Okay, so in we go. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Let's have him back in there. Locked away, safe and sound. Yeah, triangle key. Common one on industrial enclosures, these circle keys. Find these a lot in industry. Okay, so we have got those. Oh, twist. Now, yeah, again, a must have key, I would suggest. Ah, no key here, Gordon. What's this? Joinery corner? Yeah. Now you wonder what that was for, didn't you? So the, the posi and flat-headed screwdriver fit neatly into the end of the triangle one here. So watch me pop this in. Locks itself into position and you've got the ability then to have, in this case, posi drive screwdriver. Just nip that one up before I leave. Nice and tight. A couple of turns. Again, to the rescue. And outside at the gas box. So again, Triangular key, Gordon, in order to access that. Let's check to see if we've got any uh, bonding in there, maybe. Could be lucky. I think we clearly proved there how handy this twin key is in those type of environments, domestic spark, etc. Yeah, but probably even more use if you work in maintenance, repair operations, where you've probably spent or you've got a lifetime building up the various keys that come with various industrial enclosures, or perhaps you just kept the one that came with the cabinet in the first place so nobody else can find it. But yeah, that's its uh, natural home in industry. Let's bring Hank in and have a closer look then, Gordon, show me some of these great features. Okay, so the twin key comes not from the fact that it's two keys, it's obviously lots of different keys, it's the twin bit here and it's stuck uh, right. together with this handy magnet, so that's quite a nice satisfying feel to that. Can we have a look at the at the ends? We've got some square, triangle, all sorts of stuff going yeah, on so there. Yeah, so there's the square ends you saw there, obviously the different sizes, the stepped square key that you used on the uh, access panel. The, you mean the loft hatch? Yeah, okay, loft hatch. I'm trying to sound technical here. <laughs> okay. So various other square keys, the triangle keys for the meter cabinets. Oh, uh, right, yeah. Uh, circle key, this is sort of very common in industrial applications, those and enclosures. Uh, and, and of course the uh, posi and flat-headed screwdriver bits that we thought originally were designed to be taken off and maybe added to a, a, a driver of some sort, didn't we? Yeah, it took us a while to figure out what you do with that, but yeah, it just drops into there. Yeah, brilliant, isn't it? And then obviously you can flip it around to the... Yeah. And that chain there is also keeping the two sections together, but can be undone? Yeah, it can. So this, uh, this is a stainless steel wire. So if I uh, remember which way to turn that. Okay, yeah, so you pop that in done. And you think it's a good idea to do what with that? Yes, yeah, so obviously if you're working in industry, you're probably going to be locking off kit for maintenance. So put a handy place to put your uh, locking off keys. Okay, yeah, it makes logical sense, that doesn't. Obviously, wind them back up. You don't want the two sections parting from each other. So put that one back together. And there's also a couple of um, keys actually built into the, this, the circle section in the centre there, isn't there? So yeah, so there's a, a valve here you can use uh, okay. possibly so, to, uh, yeah. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that could be for removing air from radiators, maybe? What, bleeding a radiator? That's a bit strong words, isn't it, Gordon? It's only removing the air from them, so yes. Uh... Yes, we've got that, and then flip it over, we've got this uh, half moon key. Please tell me what that's used for then, Gordon. Uh, that's good. Please mention in the comments below what that's used for. So in all my time working in industry, I've never found uh, anything that needed that key, but it must exist somewhere, otherwise it wouldn't be on here. All right, okay. So th there's, there's loads of options there, is what we're saying, aren't we? Yeah. And let's not forget as well that obviously the the linking device stops you losing the two halves of the twin key. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. So yeah, don't 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 disconnect them and then find you're trying to you've got two separate things that you're looking for. As always, we're interested in your comments. Are you currently using the twin key from Nipex? Or are you using something else? What's your go-to set of keys? Or are you a collector of individual keys and you've got a mass collection and you're very proud of it? We're always interested in your comments. Please leave those comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.